Congratulations, you're a girl. We're actually all girls now. According to the executive order on January 20th, entitled Defending Women from Gender Ideology Extremism and Restoring Biological Truth to the Federal Government. Okay, so here's the deal. This order mandates that the US government recognizes only two sexes, male and female, defined biologically at conception. There are two main problems with this. The first one is that at conception, all humans are female. That is our default setting. It takes about seven or eight weeks of gestation for the presence or absence of a Y chromosome, and specifically the SRY gene, to start to exert its effects. Up until that time, we are all female. The second problem with this is that it's a lot more complicated than that because there are very complicated anatomical, genetic, and hormonal factors that determine gender. So this definition completely disregards individuals who are intersex. There are individuals who have androgen insensitivity syndrome, individuals who have chromosomal differences like people who are XO, they have only one X chromosome, and people who are XXY, Klinefelter syndrome. Etc. So this is a huge oversimplification. But yeah, at the moment, I mean, congratulations, we're all girls.